Is it street legal? Yes, yes, it's street legal. We got it and took it in here in the garage and just put it on jack stands. Just right here? Yeah, right there. <laughs> Blake should be here for these, but you guys are stuck with me this time. I apologize already. But Dean's here, Dylan's here, and they're gonna take us through this father-son Baja bug build. Tell us all the details right off the bat. Is it street legal? Yes, yes. it's street legal. All right, okay. <laughs> and so how long have you guys been building this thing? Uh, so we bought it about uh, two years ago as a father-son project. Oof. We bought it from a guy who Dang, somebody's yeah, getting, getting it. Someone's getting it right now, yeah. So, <laughs> so you guys got it a couple years ago? Yeah, so we bought it a couple years ago from a guy who had pretty much done a lot of the fab work was already done by, uh, was it Dope, Dope Tech, I think is the guy who did the framework. The car was pretty much, when we got it, the engine was blown up, the transmission was blown up, the guy had lost interest in it who started building the car. Kind of just kind of let it go a little just, bit, huh? Yeah, he was just done with it. So, yeah. So we got it and just took it here in the garage and just put it on jack stands. Just right here? Yeah, right there. <laughs> That's what's up, <laughs> man. That junk. And the whole thing. So pulled every piece off of it, rebushing the front end. The oh, so, so you guys went for a full strip down? Full yeah. strip down. Just, just to like really go through everything? Chassis. Yeah. Jack sands and it was a hovercraft. So. That's probably pretty necessary, right? To do when you get a new off-road vehicle? Yeah. yeah, we found some things that were gonna be a safety issue. Okay. And we were lucky that we found them. We addressed them. And, Good. Uh, so the car is completely safe now. It's a really fun car. Excellent. Um, See, and that, and that goes to show, I guess, you know, if you guys are ever buying a car and you guys know when you guys are getting into a project, it's always really important to go through it. Yeah. Go through full everything. Prep. Race prep. All new. Full prep. Yeah. You know, no, matter, no matter who says they prepped what, pull off the tires, shake some things around, yeah. go through it, replace bolts. You guys never know what you guys might find, you know. Wiring issues. There you go, see wiring issues, tons of stuff. So you said there was some safety stuff. So if any of you guys are buying some builds out there, especially since the season is getting kicked off or the cars that are being purchased right now, a lot of them are being sold. You guys gotta be careful, go through them really well. Take us through the rest of this thing, man. So, yeah, so the, the front end. It's basic Volkswagen geometry. It's still a link pin car. The okay. only difference is we've pulled the torsion bars out. Okay. This has the through rods through it, has the Fox 2.0s. Um, so did this come with the car or did you guys add this on? The shock the, the car, yeah. Okay. And then we had our buddy Evan Smith just go through all the shocks and tune the car. Okay. So we can hit whatever we want at whatever speed we can hit. Good. Right, right. So the front end's about 16 inches of travel. Okay. The beam's six over stock. And then the arms are three plus three on Combi spindles. So three plus three, that's three out, three, three forward. Out, three back. So that changes oh, th the wheelbase of the car, the width yeah. overall of the car. See, I'm learning some of that bug stuff, man. <laughs> there you go, man. Cool, cool. Okay. Yeah. So about 16 in the front. Yeah, 16 in the front. Um, got the JMAR dual piston disc brakes in the front. All right. There we go, man. Yeah, got the Sacco rack and pinion going on in there. Really nice stuff. You can take the hood off. Too, nice. Man. Yeah, if you guys would want to. Too, man. Yeah, let's do it, man. There we go. So we got the Sacco rack going on here. Okay. We got all JMR brakes. Nice. Did you guys add the steering upgrade? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We just got that brand new rack because ours <laughs> fell apart. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it happens, right? Yeah, it happens. It so happens, right? We're gonna next step on the front end is we're gonna do yeah, power the electric power steering just okay. to make it easier to drive and maneuver at slow speeds and then turn these 33s yeah help move these 33s that we have so right now no power steering with no with power that steering. okay or just however strong you can do it so. man you guys are gonna get ripped <laughs> he's gonna get ripped i just sit in the passenger seat. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go bro all right man that's cool um boy it's definitely a really solid clean front end i mean structurally it looks super sound and strong i mean this almost looks like you guys could this looks like a race front end what do you guys know what class this would be it'd be the, because of the wheelbase and class the width five. and everything, it would be class five unlimited, but the okay. engine that's in it, we wouldn't got it. be competitive. So. Got it, got it. <laughs> and then what's up with these lights right here? What do you guys got? Well, those are, <laughs> those are eBay. <laughs> eBay, there it is, dude. Gotta stay low budget. No, those heck yeah. Our roommates. Uh, wait, wait, do they light up? Yeah, they do. Then they work, dude. Yeah. Then that's fine. You're good. You don't need to do anything else. There they <laughs> and there they go. See? Cool, man. Very cool. So you said it was off one of your buddy's cars or something? Yeah, it's off our... Right there, actually. All right, this looks amazing. It looks really aggressive. What made you guys go with these? Are these 31s? 30, 30, 33s. 30, I was gonna say this looks actually really, yeah. What am I talking about? We, we actually won those tires. Oh, really? Bucks in yeah. a raffle. Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay, and then we bought like $400 worth of 
<laughs> wheels a piece. Right, right, dude. These are and these this is a we'll really nice setup. Wheels. Looks really good. All right, so take us through the rear, guys. So it's a pretty basic Volkswagen Type One engine. Okay. It's a 1915, so stock crank, 94 millimeter bores. It has an Ingle 110 cam in it. It has the MP has some new big heads, so um, they're their GSX heads, GSX2 heads. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just a dual port engine. It has the also has the MP D, uh, series D carburetor, 45 millimeter carb. Okay. And then uh, we've did the. You know, just so we could have the air cleaner inside. We have the big air cleaner. Okay. So we can drive in the dirt for a long time and have it, no problems. It's nice, man. Tractor. Yeah, like a farm implement type air cleaner. See, and this is why Blake should have been here. He'd be like, oh, dude, you know, the, you know, the flux capacitor the right flux here. Capacitor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone thinks these are turbos, yeah. turbos or something <laughs> right. that are inside. You're like, no, we're just trying to He's make it go. clamps or... Fancy, very fancy, very very fancy, man. Transaxle is just uh, it's a 002 uh, bus transmission. Okay. It was um, built by Rancho Performance. Has all the really good internals and everything. Okay. Bring your opinion size for the 33 inch tires. Right. Um, How are you guys feeling with the uh, the power plant right now? You guys pretty good with it? What are you guys thinking? Uh, well, it's it only makes about 100, maybe 95 horsepower. Okay. And after riding in a friend of ours' car. That uh, guy over there. That guy over there. <laughs> the car that you rode in. Um, we're uh, we're definitely gonna put some sort of water cooled power plant. Maybe Honda. Thinking maybe, of changing it up. Maybe okay. A maybe. Ecotech. Yeah, maybe a supercharged EcoTech or something. We want the okay. Low end torque. I think the coolest thing is is that you're learning how to drive this thing, and you're learning how to like control this power and do everything that you want to do with the power that you're given. And I think that that truly makes a good driver. You know, over time. You know, sometimes you see people jumping on like really big horsepower things and you kind of lose the feel of the desert and like yeah. the way everything goes how, like, you know works, exactly how your car suspension works. everything yeah man and as yeah. you guys are like building up you guys are like excelling your skill you guys are becoming more like aware of the movement and the weight of the car and everything so it, it's good steps bro i think you guys are going in the right direction you know so about that's what you guys got going on there i see you guys got your fire extinguishers we always talk about that we, we highlight this all the time we're in here, guys, because we always want to make sure you guys freaking have this in your car. Please, you know, you guys are out in the desert. There's no water around, right? There's nobody to save you. You're only you going to save your own ass, and that's the way you're going to do it. Nice, nice jazz. It looks, this thing looks brand new, too. This yeah. looks good. Our last eBay gas tank cracked. Uh-oh. So. <laughs> so this is the eBay horror story. Yeah, this is, uh, okay. this is the replacement. Okay. So, so you're recommending jazz for sure. That's jazz probably, okay way to go right right i'm running jazz in my truck too man very cool so i see you guys have the the bypasses back here right yeah, so uh, king 2.5 double bypass and then a king 2.0 nice nice there we go man yeah you got your compression compression rebound right there your little trip by, triple bypass you actually go through the scoops if you want to see more yeah there we go nice so this was all already built, right, by the last guy, and you guys just kind of... A lot of the tube work was done. We yeah. added some other stuff in the back just to make to it safe the and then to hold the fuel cell. Okay. We added all that tubing. Nice. And then we added more tubing underneath the seats. Okay. For, yeah, the seat belts weren't, the seat belts weren't, weren't really hooked to anything. They oh. were just kind of bolted through the pan, so hmm. in an accident, it would have been a bad deal. So now we're... Or around um, cage yeah that sound that sounds pretty good to me man i like i like that that's good yep. so tell us about this setup in here so I, li are, I like all this too by the way man looking really good yeah i was trying to polish this it looks great work out oh it looks great so uh, i mean it looks like a really uh this almost looks like the stock dash huh yeah it's, almost so this is a replacement dash you got all your gauges in here and then you want to take us through the oil pressure which is a need and then oil temp and voltage and then we have rpm and fuel that doesn't work because i don't have the setting in it right now hey dude that's <laughs> they, you know what that's always the last thing I, I don't know if any of you guys always have that happen but the sending unit is just kind of like right it's always the last thing i had one yeah and yeah now i don't because now you don't fuel tank got it got it man and then you got the mpi steering wheel yeah the mpi steering wheel with the the Very push cool. the top from rugged right. radios nice man yeah we we know mike from mpi He's solid guy solid steering wheels a lot of our boys run them. Very strong steering wheels. And then crushing it with the PRP harnesses. Yeah, the PRP harnesses. Very cool. Pretty comfortable. What do you get? You guys like those things? 
yeah they're yeah. really nice on the shoulders Don't right on that much rash right on and then you guys got the rugged headsets in here yeah, and then beard seats uh, cool got the jmr pedals nice dude we swapped them over from the floor i like how they're all black too yeah it looks sick kind of goes with like the whole vibe like everything's like you know the gray and the black in here looks sick all right dude this looks solid and then um how much travel do you guys think you guys have in the back of this thing about Around. 13 inches Around about 13. 13 yeah it has this the three plus three boxed arms okay and our limitation is the uh cv joints so mm. the angle on the cvs is our our limitation that's pretty much like one of the main kind of limitations and with rear, rear travel of these right is the cv joints yeah. yeah well it looks great you guys i mean like it looks like you guys are ready to have some fun this season in this thing yeah, I, I mean, I could imagine this thing just having like a blast in uh, in Ocotillo in this, just hitting those fire roads and all that, Actually, ripping all over cool, everywhere. But... And it's so cool because it's uh, it's not huge, you know, like a truck, but yeah. you guys could probably like get in all those tight trails too, just like you would like a side by side or something. Exactly. Do you guys have any questions for this build? What what year was this thing? 1970. 1970. 77? Just 70. Oh, 70. 1970. All right, cool. Well, man. That was pretty smooth. Not on my part, on their part. They know what they're talking about. Me, not so much. But thank you guys for checking it out. If you guys have any questions about this thing, I keep telling all you guys, I gotta get out to the desert with you guys. Oh yeah. I, I'd love to just follow you guys around and capture these things in action. All right guys, well thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode. Um, if you guys like what we do, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff to help us keep growing. Um, if you guys have any questions uh, for them, please reach out to their accounts, hit them up. This is, this is gonna be a, a pretty long project, right? Oh yeah. yeah. See, and that's what they—that's what they say, man. This is the ultimate thing. It's like you get your kids addicted to, to cars so they can't buy drugs. Yep. A, right? Yep. Dare, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Later.